Ooh, this is bad, bad. We're gonna go real slow here. Yeah. But there's no pull-offs, so. Well, we're here in Fernwood, Idaho, and we're at a chili and pie making contest at the local church here. So I told you guys I'd bring you along for this one, and let's go inside. Oh my goodness. This is also a surprise birthday party for a member of the congregation. It's Allie's husband. Oh. Who knows, there's a cook-off, but he also doesn't know that it's a surprise party for him. It's his 40th birthday. So this is how it works. Every cup is a different sample. They're all numbered from one to eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one to nine. And you vote on which one you like the best. Well, I picked my favorite chili and now I gotta go back and pick my favorite pie. This is the part I've been looking forward to. Okay, this is how the pie competition goes. And basically there's 10 different ones and you number your plate and put a scoop of each one on your plate and then vote for the one you like the best. I think I'm gonna like them all. Did you get your winner? Well, some excellent chili. And uh, that was a little bit tough to decide on the pies, but uh, we did pick a winner. Well, I did. <laughs> Stacy said this probably represents the entire community of Fernwood, Idaho. <laughs> Well, that was a tremendous amount of fun. I mean, it really was. Small town atmosphere, lots of really nice people. And I gotta tell you something funny. Linda and I go in there and we're used to getting recognized here and there. Uh, people will come up and say, hey, gone again, Rick and Linda, we watch all your videos. So we go in here 
And the first things we hear, first thing we hear is, hey, I recognize you guys. You're friends of Hobo Shoestring. <laughs> <laughs> what a kick. Anyway, we had a great time. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and ate a lot. Oh God, I'm stuffed. I am too. I thought we, I thought we wouldn't uh, get a, you know, be able to eat so much because it was a contest. You know, you just take a little bit. No, we're stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> well, Linda and I are on our way home <laughs> from Idaho. We should reach uh, <clears throat> our town in Montana today. But um, there's a place called Bernice's Bakery in Missoula, and they're supposed to have good pie. Yeah, I know another pie. Yep. But two pies, one trip. Three. Three pies. <laughs> anyway, let's go check it out. Okay, what we ended up with was two slices of apple lattice pie, and oh man, they do look good. They look very good. Mmm, <laughs> that's pie. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed home, guaranteed homemade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. This one's fresh out of the oven. At first, um, they told us they didn't have, they were out of pie. So we just ordered a couple of cups, uh, cups of coffee to go. And then they said that, um, oh, then they discovered this one, the gal discovered this one, says, oh, wait, I've got this. So she gave it to us in a to-go box. That's why it's like this. It's really, really good. This is Bernice's Bakery. The other thing that's really good is it was only like three fifty a slice, which I think is really reasonable. Well, I think we're learning something here. This is, like Linda just said, this is a bakery. Not just stopping in a restaurant that says they have homemade pie, but it's kind of not. In a bakery, it's going to be from scratch. This is great. Well, this pie thing has turned out to be a lot of fun. More fun for us than for you, but keep it in mind if you're on the road it's one of those things you can do you just get to a town and research homemade pie just do a google search for that town and see what pops up and then um, if you have time you can research the reviews just look up reviews for such and such a bakery or something and see what they say about it or just take your chances that's what we do most of the time <laughs> And then a lot of these places that we are stopping at are places that friends told us about or you told us about. So if you know of pie places in the United States that we should try, let us know, especially in the western part of the United States, let us know. Linda writes them down. And when we get to those places, those cities, we try to go there. We heard reports of jackknifed semis and overturned vehicle and yeah some other stuff ahead of us here so we're going to be very very careful okay what's that flashing light okay i don't know snowplow Nope, it's the highway sign. Ooh, this is bad, bad. We're gonna go real slow here. Yeah. But there's no pull-offs, so... I don't get somebody behind me. Glad we're out of that stuff. That was kind of sketchy up there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. We thought we were down out of the worst of it, but this is way worse. This is high winds from the left side and uh, drifting snow and ice and it's blowing the trailer sideways not enough to like flip the trailer over but just enough to blow us off the road 
I've got the car in four-wheel drive, so at least I can point the front tires uh, in the direction I want to go in case the trailer starts to go off to the right side. And I can steer us back on the highway real bad. cars behind me, uh, they're not riding my bumper, they're way back, so they're having just as much trouble as we are. The reason the road is covered uh, patchy like this is from the wind blowing from the left and actually drifting across the road, and it makes ice across the road in all these places, and that combined with the wind blowing about 20 or so right through here is what's making this really treacherous. It just blow you right off the road on the icy parts. But nothing beats a homemade homemade pie and this peach pie just came right out of Linda's oven.